Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally isn't working. So um, I know you guys are pissed off. You know what? I am sorry. I am sick and tired of some of y'all people that have literally just gone crazy over this loss. Just get over it. Did you really think the Cowboys are going to go 17-0? Honestly. They weren't. I told you. Yeah, I, I, It's so funny to me that when I tell y'all stuff, you never freaking listen. You're as bad as my kids, Pizzle and Philly 500. I tell you stuff, try and prepare you for it, and you don't freaking listen. I told you there's going to be bad games and bad times, okay? That's the nature of the beast. Get over it. It's done. Come Wednesday, the team will be back on the field getting ready for the Atlanta Falcons. Forget about it. Because in the grand scheme of things, a loss is a loss. And if you're going to lose to somebody, losing to somebody in the AFC is better than losing to somebody in the NFC. Now pick yourself up by your bootstrap. Wipe off your damn, your damn face from crying. And get your shit together. Now, we have some good news on the Cowboys front. Michael Gallup is expected to be a full, and I mean full, participant on practice on Wednesday. As well as Tristan Hill. And for Tristan Hill, the incentive has to be that I've got to get my shit together. Because time's running short. This is my third season. I have not been here all season long to actually do anything. My rookie season was meh. I started doing some good things my second year, but it was injured. And now it's my third year. Half of the season's gone. I've got to make up and make an impression. And hopefully you'll be able to do that. Um, Demarcus Lawrence is still rehabbing. And Navelle Gallimore, you know I like to smack him. That elbow must have been really, really bad because here it is. This is going on three months of time for him rehabbing that elbow. I'm just like, it, it, it was it more than a hyperextension. Did something actually break in there? It's been a long time and I really want to see him back. And this is where our defense, Quentin Bohan has paid about 20% of the snaps and stuff. He's a good run stuffer, but he's not quite there. He's still really a rookie. And this is where we really need Brett Urban. And this is where, We've had so many different injuries that we have been able to sustain them that sooner or later that's going to catch up to you. You know, you can't keep losing players that have played valuable time over and over and over again and think that you're still going to be able to play at the same level. We have lost some really good players. When you think about Demarcus Lawrence, Brett Irving, um, you know, Michael Gallup, now Tyron Smith, you know, we and that doesn't count the ones that have had guys that have come back. We have had actually a lot of injuries that bother me. Now, one of the things that bothers me is <clears throat> I'm wondering why the Cowboys still have a punter. Seriously. Why do we still have a punter? Our punter has punted, I think, on the 29th most punts in the NFL. We don't use them. And this is where I, I wonder about Mike McCarthy's constant, we're going to go for it mentality all the time, even in our own backyard. Sometimes you got to live to fight another day. And it seems to be that the Denver Broncos truly felt disrespected by the Cowboys continuing to go for it. They seem more motivated than anybody else. And this is where you wonder if coaching has quite a bit to do with whether we win or lose. The thing that's kind of interesting is we know the Cowboys are getting flagged a lot. Some of it's deserved, some of it's not. Some of it you feel like it's just a vendetta against us and trying to take away some of our aggression. Last week, the Cowboys um, pressed on the players about the penalties. We want to keep down on the penalties. Be careful of the, the aggression. 
And you have to look at this game and say, this is the first game that the Dallas Cowboys weren't as fast and physical as they have been all season. This time, the Cowboys seemed like they were the ones that were taking all the abuse and that the Denver Broncos were the ones that were kicking all the ass and taking the names. And that partially may be because the Cowboys basically said, cut out on the penalties. Well, here's the thing. Sometimes it's okay to take a flag. I'm not saying I want to go ahead and get flagged over and over and over again, especially when it's not actually shouldn't be that you're getting flagged. But sometimes you need that aggression to help set a tone, to get people excited, to make those other people understand that my life is in jeopardy when I come around that corner. You don't want to appear to be soft, so to speak. And it may be that Mike McCarthy this past week preaching about not getting those flags. Okay, well, we didn't get the flags. But we also didn't get that aggression that usually propels the team. So it's a delicate balance. And in the end, I think you're going to get those calls no matter whether you're aggressive or not if you're the Dallas Cowboys. We don't get the calls going our way. We just don't. And so, in that standpoint, I would rather have a team of guys that are pumped up and that are physical and going after it than ones that are scared about getting a penalty. Coach Cook, we used to call him Wolfman. He had curly hair. He's like almost like a, a curly hair, mean leprechaun in high school. And he was offensive line coach. He was always kind of growling. What he used to always say is, if you're going to fuck up, make sure you fuck up at full speed. Because there's nothing worse than making a bad play and half-assing it. And that's where you look at this game and we see, guys were messing up. It seemed like they were messing up at slow speed. But I'm not overly concerned about this um, tonight during our live stream I'll, I'll get the numbers for you that will definitely put you a little more at ease um, when you look at this believe me the Cowboys aren't the first team that's going to get blown out and have a bad game in fact you look at some of the Super Bowl champions some of the games that they played during the season some of them got their ass handed to them more than once and so the Cowboys, this is their first bad game. Hopefully this will be the exception and not the rule. So tune in tonight if you want to feel better about the Dallas Cowboys and where we sit. Remember, there's only one team out there with only one loss. And we get to play them. All right, back to work, y'all.